Anyone who isn't with me opposes me. And anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. Think about that. Are you working on the right side of things or are you working on the wrong side of things? How do you know if you are working for Jesus? How do you know whether or not you are pulling on the right side of the rope versus the wrong side of the rope? How do you know that? Well, let me tell you how you know that. Are you a follower of Jesus? Do you have faith that what he did on the cross is enough to be able to wipe away your sin and make you spotless and holy? Have you decided to follow him after he has placed his Holy Spirit inside of your soul by obeying him? Have you chosen to learn what it is that his will is for your life, abandoning the plan that you have and resolving yourself to the fact that you no longer have a right to plan out your life the way that you want because it belongs to Jesus? And are you striving now with your life to lead others because you know that people are watching you? And are you striving to find the order of the way that it works within the church so that you can do the work that God has designed for you to do? If you can say yes to that, then you are working on Jesus' behalf. If you can't say yes to that, then you need to know that God's opinion of it, that Jesus' opinion of it is that there's no middle ground. You either are working against him or you are working for him. Now, for those of you who are working against him and you know it, you need to understand something. He does not love you less because you are working against him. He loves you the same as he loves all of us who are working for him. His love for you is not based upon your work. It is based upon you. So why do we commit to this work? It's not because our salvation is dependent upon it. No way. Our faith trusts that it was Jesus' work that got us salvation. We don't work. We do not work because of the fear that we have got to earn our way to heaven. That's not it. We work because we love. Music.